The CareVent ATV Plus and MRI, automatic transport ventilators, are designed to meet the needs of the respiratory impaired patient during long-term transport and resuscitation in the pre-hospital and in-hospital environments. The ventilators provide automatic and manual ventilation for resuscitation and transport and have the added advantage of demand breathing for the patient suffering from respiratory distress. These totally pneumatic ventilators provide a range of controls and alarms, normally only seen on hospital-type electronic ventilators. When the gas supply is turned on, the green visual gas supply indicator will turn from black to green, and a short audible tone will be heard confirming that the gas is available. When the gas supply drops below the minimum safe operating pressure of 40.6 pounds per square inch, the indicator will flash black and green and a low pitch audible oscillating alarm will sound. The oscillation frequency decreases as the input pressure reduces to the point where the alarm will emit a continuous tone, indicating that the gas supply is no longer providing sufficient pressure for full ventilator function. The CareVent ATV Plus and MRI are equipped with a number of controls to allow the operator to tailor the ventilation parameters to the individual patient's needs. The frequency of ventilation and minute volume delivery can be independently selected by rotating the two controls located on the right of the front panel in a clockwise direction from low to high settings. Each control provides 12 positions allowing a total combination of 144 possible patient setting selections. The manual or automatic control selector, when in the man position, allows the gas supply to be turned on, making the ventilator ready for any breathing emergency. In the manual position, the manually activated manual ventilation override button will provide manually triggered assisted ventilations to patients who are experiencing distressed breathing or to provide ventilations to a non-breathing patient. The flow rate is equivalent to the minute volume flow setting selected, providing flow rates equivalent to the size of the patient being ventilated. This reduces the peak airway pressures generated and in the mask ventilated patient significantly reduces the potential for gastric insufflation and associated risk of aspiration of stomach contents. Turning the manual automatic control to the auto position will allow the ventilator to commence automatic cycling at the selected frequency and minute volume. Should the rescuer wish to manually ventilate the patient, depression of the manual ventilation button will override the automatic cycling, causing it to cease. The rescuer can then ventilate the patient at their own rate and volume. However, the flow rate of gas will remain equivalent to the selected minute volume setting. Should the rescuer stop manually ventilating, there will be a delay of 20 seconds before automatic ventilations recommence without any intervention by the rescuer being required. The 20 second delay is calibrated to allow the ventilator to be used during mask ventilated CPR with 20 seconds being sufficient time for 30 chest compressions to be provided. Overinflation is prevented or airway blockage indicated by the operation of the adjustable pressure relief system. This provides a range of peak airway pressures from 20 to 60 centimeters of water. Exceeding the selected pressure will cause the airway overpressure alarm to activate and a continuous tone will be heard during the inspiratory phase of the ventilator cycle. A CPAP PEEP control is provided on the ATV Plus and MRI ventilators, 
which allows for the use of these functions without the need for an external peep valve. The airway pressure baseline is elevated to increase the resistance to expiration at the patient valve, thereby maintaining the airway in an open state. As the control is rotated, you will hear gas flowing, confirming that the control is functioning. In the PEEP mode, the flow of gas is shut off during the inspiratory phase so as not to add to the delivered tidal volume. Observation of the changing baseline pressure level on the airway pressure gauge will indicate that the CPAP PEEP control is functioning correctly. The spontaneously breathing patient can be supplied with CPAP PEEP, often eliminating the need for intubation. The breathing system integrity alarm, BSI alarm, is provided to warn the rescuer of any change in the ventilations. This totally pneumatic alarm activates when the pressure in the patient circuit fails to reach a minimum of 10 centimeters of water during inspiration, indicating that either the circuit has become disconnected from the patient or that an insufficient tidal volume is being delivered for the lung capacity of the patient. In addition to the high frequency, high pitched audible alarm, there is a red flashing visual indicator to warn the rescuer of a problem in the patient's airway. Next to the visual indicator is a BSI alarm silence button that allows the operator to silence the alarm for 15 seconds when disconnection has been purposely performed for suctioning or other airway maneuver. After the delay period, the alarm will restart automatically. Each depression of the BSI alarm silence button will silence the alarm for a period of 15 seconds. If the problem is not corrected within 15 seconds, the alarm will recommence. If the patient begins to breathe spontaneously at an inspiratory flow exceeding 30 liters per minute for greater than one second, the auto shutoff circuit will stop the automatic cycling. This allows the patient to breathe on demand at his or her own rate and volume. If the demanded flow rate drops below 30 liters per minute for greater than four seconds, the automatic cycling will restart. No intervention on the part of the operator is required. Be aware that inspiratory flows generated by younger patients may be insufficient to initiate the auto shutoff circuit. Should this occur, the ventilator will continue to provide constant mandatory ventilation at the selected settings. To conserve oxygen during long transports or when a patient's respiratory condition requires an oxygen concentration of less than 100 percent, a two-position oxygen air mix control is provided. With the air mix control in the 60 percent oxygen setting, you will hear the sound of ambient air being drawn into the rear of the ventilator during the inspiratory phase. A single patient use snap-in filter is provided to ensure that clean air is drawn into the ventilator when in the air mix mode. The filter should be replaced after each use of the air mix mode to avoid the risk of using a partially occluded or contaminated filter. The CareVent ATV Plus and MRI have only three pieces that need to be disassembled for cleaning. The universal face mask, deluxe disposable transport ventilator circuit, and the air intake filter. Their design makes them virtually impossible to misassemble. The control module can be wiped clean with a mild soap solution and a clean cloth. The CareVent ATV Plus and MRI have been developed to meet the challenges of transport and resuscitation of the respiratory impaired patient by providing a wide range of ventilation parameters in a totally pneumatically powered compact unit. The removal of all ferrous metal components from the ATV Plus to provide the magnetic resonance imaging compatible feature of the CareVent MRI allows this device to be used in MRI environments up to three Tesla with no effect on either ventilator function or scan quality even with the ventilator positioned next to the magnet.
Simple to operate, the CareVent ATV Plus and MRI ventilators are innovative, feature-packed, yet cost-effective. Their rugged, full-feature design make them ideal ventilators for all patient transport and resuscitation situations. Thank you.